Yeah, I mean Yusuf's mentioning the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that no one, you see that's the other thing, it's a good point. No one deserves paradise. You don't deserve paradise. The, prophets, the Prophet Muhammad said, none of you will enter paradise because of your deeds, because of what you have done. They said, not even you, Messenger of Allah. He said, not even me. Not unless God bestows His mercy upon us. Yeah? So, it's an illusion to think that you can earn paradise. God wants us to do good deeds. God wants us to be a good person, to behave in a good way, to follow His guidance. But you can't earn paradise. You can't. Paradise is way too valuable. There's nothing you can do. There's, there, it's a story. It's not a hadith. Or, but it's a story about a very pious man who worshipped God all his life on an island. He worshipped God, non-stop praying thing, only stopping to eating. So he's worshipping God, worshipping God, worshipping God. He meets God on the day of judgment. And God says, enter paradise by my mercy. And the man says, but my deeds, by my deeds. So Allah says to the angels, take the, take the time that he was suffering from some pain in his tooth and then I took that pain away put that in the scale and then put all his deeds in the other scale so Allah's taking the pain away outweighed all of his good deeds so Allah says take him to hell yeah because his deeds didn't even get that his deeds didn't even pay back for God relieving him from that suffering so the man is saying as he's being dragged to hell he says Rather by your mercy, rather by your mercy. So Allah takes him and enters him into paradise by his mercy. Anyway, so it's, it's, it's just a story. It's not based upon an authentic hadith as far as I know. But what it shows, it illustrates. What can we earn? Can we thank Allah enough just for your eyesight? What if you prayed all the time and you just all the time said Alhamdulillah, 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 Alhamdulillah. Just for being able to see, you wouldn't thank Allah enough just for your eyesight. How can you earn paradise through your deeds? Subhanallah. So paradise is from the mercy of Allah. That's what we have to understand. How about a person who doesn't even recognize Allah? Doesn't obey Allah? Resist the message of Allah? What do they deserve, my brothers and sisters? Think about that.